welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Fall Guys, the new microtransactions and how things are set up because it's a little bit different and a little bit sketchy i guess i don't know but it's gone free to play on all platforms so the game is free you don't need to buy anything that's one thing that's a great thing a lot of the ui and things have been updated and changed to make things easier more accessible and um in game as well the ui on screen with like tips and tricks and new pictures for every single level everything is there easier to find and just understand which is pretty damn cool you now have a bigger challenge section too so you can see the amount of challenges you can do daily you get varying things through xp and kudos etc etc you got weekly challenges that you could do and you've got marathon challenges that you could do now these things here these little shard things they equate to basically stars so if i go back and you see in the top left where it says 20 level 20 for me 177 out of 189 you can get pieces of a crown which is those shard like things which add to your crown counts and then you get more crowns and you get to the next tier and you unlock things so it's kind of like a season pass esque built system but you have to win crowns to be able to get there so that's what's really good about having marathon challenges for you to be able to you know get some extra crowns and some unlocks without having to pay anything it's a little bit of a better system i kind of like it however crowns used to be used for buying skins and stuff and that is massively changed that's one of the big things we're going to talk about in this video season pass pretty damn good there's a lot of cool things here i won't go through them all but you know if we just skip up we can see that we have a dragon dance body we have a dragon dance tail and we have a dragon dance head so if you've got two other teammates with you and you're all wearing these separate ones you can make a former dragon you can run and form a dragon this is what i want to talk about show box now throughout the season pass you get a few hundred show box um which is okay it's pretty cool it gives you access to you know varying things that you you want to buy like if you can afford it i don't think there's anything more than a hundred so you get probably about a thousand just off the top of my head you can see there's there's quite a few um so you're going to get some show books for free but they are mainly the the micro transactions now probably a little bit more than a thousand actually look at how badass mecha godzilla is pretty damn cool things worth getting the season pass is actually 100 tiers now i believe it was like 60 before so that's changed too there's a lot of good things here season pass pretty much worth going for and stuff like that but the show books you can use to tier skip so if i wanted to skip tier skip without having to unlock stuff i can go and buy six for 500 12 for a thousand or 30 for 2000 and get half well a third into the battle pass season pass so let's look at the prices of stuff season um the seasonal store now shows you pretty much everything you can get or you can break it down into your featured items and show books your season tab will give you your dlcs you know you get seven pound 99 for two skins and a thousand of the show books which i think is a pretty cool a pretty cool deal i'm probably going to buy that a little bit later you can get tier skips obviously here for show books too then you've got your featured stuff you know this one's free so i'm going to grab that in a second it's i think it's an old skin come back in a different color and then you've got like things that you could buy with your show books so if you buy microtransactions, these are the things that you could possibly buy um or you could buy the individual pieces if you want so you could get individual pieces or you could buy it as a set so basically you're getting it for cheaper if if you want to buy it so they're, they're kind of encouraging you fear fear of missing out fomo um to actually get stuff then you have down here the item shop which is kudos based mostly and kudos now is what your main currency will be you get it from winning you get it from challenges etc etc i genuinely think though that you're going to get less worth now out of your currencies because they've kind of put in microtransactions on the board um but you know there's a lot of things here that you can get I've, i genuinely don't understand why they put these in for a thousand kudos they're not worth a thousand kudos the, these two things like the little titles and the little background should be like no more than 300 each um but there are a lot of things here you can get now let's just look at the show books so essentially 1000 bucks six pound fifty probably about eight dollars nine dollars for americans can get you one item so let's just go up here you could get one item here if you really wanted to um or one set i should say to be more accurate so i don't think the prices are too bad like if you want to spend the money it's there as an option you know most things that you can buy will be under the 1000 mark you're going to get free stuff from the battle pass 2 free show books so i reckon you know if you put on 
£16 a month if you're going to play this game long term. I think that will satiate your needs for microtransactions. However, I do feel like they have kind of reduced the amount of currencies that you can get and stuff. So, you know, there's no more crowns. You don't get crowns on the battle pass. And I don't think the show books equate to the crowns in terms of value from what I'm seeing off the bat. You can't get show books from a, from a game, I don't think, unless maybe if you get a win, you might get some show books, but I highly, highly doubt it. So the microtransactions now are kind of fear of missing out based on money, whereas before it was fear of missing out, but you needed crowns. So you could theoretically play the game for 20 hours a day, maybe get two, three, four crowns, and then the next day in the shop, there'll be something there for you to buy, which you won't miss out on. Now that's been taken away from you, the fear of missing out is based on real money, which is a little bit of a shame. But as I said, it's not drastically bad the trans the microtransactions i've seen much much worse in games and if you like this sort of like chill out fun game where you can just mess around with friends or on your own and just not really care too much about the game but you want to have cool little outfits and stuff i think these microtransactions are, are pretty pretty okay for the current landscape of things um so yeah that's kind of like all the new microtransaction stuff everything apart from the outfit section is kind of new and different i really like how they're doing the challenges now so you can see exactly what you need to do without having to like you know think about it you could just go in and see the weekly challenges and get you know if you want to aim for something run for a total of 2000 seconds you're probably going to do that anyway um but the marathon ones are the big thing because they're going to give you access to um how do i get to it now i can't remember oh yeah here we go the crown section so this is your crown battle pass I already have quite a few things because I've been working on it for recently and you know you could go through and win and win and win and get loads of new stuff that you probably won't very often see because you have to be really pretty damn good at the game but now they're making it easier to get these tiers with the weekly challenges so that's a, a great improvement to the game. I really want this golden chicken skin I can't wait to get it. <laughs> um, but the tiers now are actually higher so that's 1064 now so I'm assuming it's going to kind of level out to how hard it was before, but with just a new currency, I don't know. So we're just going to have to wait and see. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. I, I like the improvements. I like the changes. I like the introductions of new um, new shows. So you can get the Stadium Stars show, which is all the new maps, I believe. Um, I played a couple of the new maps and they're, they're pretty cool. You know, it's it's a, it's a really good improvement. And of course, it's free to play on all consoles. Crossplay, I believe, because I've been seeing a lot of beans running around with no skins. So pretty damn cool. I'm going to be back streaming this later on my channel. So if this interests you, um, come and check it out. But thank you for watching. I've been Ethan. You guys have been awesome.